baby doll, baby cake, sugar pie. We've got a special video today about a stock called TOP. Now, I love crypto. I don't watch stocks. However, I am piecing together the puzzle for you to show you that the price action of the market is shifting. I am very early to these, and I do mean very early, and even I know that about myself. But I'm here to show you with my experience how these things start to morph because a lot of people get caught offside from these. And I want you to know that I can see these and because you're a baby doll, baby cake, sugar pie, you get to learn it for free at the cost of one Ethereum plus our friendship. And the Ethereum is to be paid when you make all your riches in a few years and crypto goes to 10 trillion market cap. So it's very interesting to see this, right? There is no glory in calling this, just like how I called the bottom of the FTX collapse uh, in November of 2022. But it's just it's to show you that, hey, the cycles are playing out. We're, we're moving forward. This is what we want to see. Just like how you've had a cold winter and you just want the weather to change when the month ticks over, finally, and you get that first warm day and you know that things are changing. That is what we're looking for here. And this is what we see. So there's a stonk here called TOP, TOP. TOP is a Chinese stock listed on the New York Stock Exchange. It is a complete scam. And I want you to know this is what happened. So you're going to be very surprised what I have to share with you. So today, its pump was mind-blowing. It did 3,800% in one session, 38x. And like it just happened, friends. So this is a sign that market price action is shifting. And you're going to be confused like, wait a minute, there's short squeezes all the time. Nope. No, 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 no. This one was of giant proportions. I've never seen what I'm about to show you. So look at this. All the, I'm going to build the backstory for you. So you want to know, why is this one different? How come the rest aren't? Just like how in 2022... When exchanges went down, how come they didn't mark the very, very bottom of crypto and it was the FTX one? How did I know the depression from the FTX had was the final gasp versus the anger we faced in June 2022? How did I know that? Well, I'm showing you something today. So there's a pattern here. So if all new traders today, people who are trading short term, they're stacking fiat, so they have USDT in their account, they're like, yeah, Diamond Hands is a scam, you're an idiot for holding, woo, I'm going to be a trillionaire, I'm just going to make 1% every day, I'm going to kill it. All these people who are going to get absolutely crushed in the future, they all have a particular pattern about themselves that they don't even know yet. So the pattern is this, they've all been relentlessly shorting for the past 18 months plus and they have no stops. They say they have stops. Of course, they all say they've got stops. Like, yeah, yeah, I have stops. But this one went so far, it actually proved to you that they don't have any stops. That's what the market does. It eventually is like a powder keg. When it explodes, it shows you who's actually doing the right thing and who's not. So I'll share with you. Many traders lost everything today. Now, I don't even follow these stock people. It just started, it came to me. I'm like, hey, I can grab some information here and share with my baby doll, baby cake, sugar pies. So I'm here to show you that what you're about to see could happen for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin and Ethereum and crypto might exhibit some similar price actions like this, either this year or 2024, but it's eventually coming, right? So the season's changing, right? And eventually, of course, altcoins. Of course, altcoins. We've seen nothing yet. We all know this. If you're in crypto, what we've seen in the past six months has basically been a scam. These up moves, we can't even call them up. They're just barely sideways, okay? So I collected some traders that just appeared on one of on my feed, right? So if I want you to know Jack Kellogg, he's a beast stock trader. He's uh, from Tim Sykes' school. I think he made $10 million, public trading record, etc. By the way, you can make more of that, more in that than just literally buy and holding in crypto, okay? So he's like the, Jack Kellogg is like the top zero point. 0.5%, less than 0.1%. He's the top of the top of the top of the top, okay? So, but I also got some other ones, and even he took a big cracker hit. He lost 332K just on that trade. So, just to let you know, look at this this other person here. So, a couple of these traders are, are, I, I tend to follow. I know what they're doing. 
I, I don't wish pain upon anybody, but I know what they're doing. What they do is, see, in stocks, I know this is crazy to show you, friends, but in stocks, so I'm going to draw a chart here. Look, look at this chart. In stocks, often, a lot of them, these penny stocks, what happens is they'll get pumped up very aggressively, like more than crypto. They'll go up like um, plus 100% to plus 300% in like the first hour. And then everybody just fades them because what they're doing is they're trapping Everybody gets short, right? They're trapping retailers who are just thinking it's coming back. And it's all these scams, low penny floats, it, people just exiting. It's the same as crypto, right? We see it all the time. But they're actually done more aggressive in the stocks world. That's actually the crazy part about it. These people have a lot more money to push and they push really aggressively. Isn't that crazy? I'm, I'm serious. They, they're more volatile than crypto. Oh, you wouldn't believe it, but I see it all the time. A stock will go from like $10 to $40 in like an hour. So this number blew their numbers apart, right? It didn't go up like a 4X. It went up 38X. So all these traders who were shorting, I always knew, I'm like, man, because I've been watching these for a year and a half. And I'm like, man, why doesn't crypto do this? I want to trade moves like this. We don't have this, friends. Crypto doesn't move like that. If you've noticed, may, sometimes crypto moves like that, but many times the market makers in crypto just walk it up like this. I'm not joking, for like 18 hours in a row. <laughs> they'll just walk it up, walk it up, walk it up. That's what they'll do. <laughs> and then eventually they bust the top. That's what they'll do in crypto. So, because they're smarter. Because it's in crypto, there's less money. There's less easy money to grab. There's it less money to go. Because in crypto, remember, our whole total crypto market cap is only $1 trillion. But in, in the US stock market, it's $40 trillion. So, yes, you can just use a, use a linear extrapolation and go, there's, there's 40 times as much dumb money in stocks as there is in crypto. As a rough approximation, you know, whether it is 10 or not, doesn't really matter, but you get the point. There's a lot more easy money to do that. So they can just afford to get away with this and for it to work. And I'm always wondering when this thing's going to stop, but you can see it's starting to shift. So look at this person on the top left, Mr. Hugo. She even says to you, I blew up my 15K to 100K trading challenge. So big respect to this person for admitting it. One of my posts I mentioned to you recently, a lot of these trading challenges, friends, they've actually been disappearing. People have been doing these trading challenges for over a year. They try and they stop. You just never hear about them again because they can just blow up. One person's going to make it and then they're going to farm all the followers and it's going to be ending tears for them. as well. So he has a net loss, 52K. So he thinks, he says, I think I'm still up for the year. Might be small. I will post my stats tomorrow. So yeah, he just took a big hit. Just getting short, 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 short. And he was making money every day. I was watching him every day. Just his posts would appear on my feed. And I'm like, wow, he's like, you know, he's up 800 bucks. Two grand, 500. I'm surprised. I'm like, well, this shows you everything you need to know. I mean, he's making 800 bucks. He takes a 50K hit. That shows you what happens. And you know, you won't believe this, friends, but most traders will actually do this. I've done this. It's happened to me. It happened to everyone. I don't, I don't even think you're a proper trader unless you've had a big blowout, to be honest. But when things go so far, there are people, even with experience, who get trapped and they keep fading it and fading it and fading it and they just don't want to take that loss. We've all had that experience. Look at this person. Not sure how I let this happen. I'm extremely embarrassed. Red on the year now. Not looking for sympathy. I just want everyone to interact with. Notice if I'm acting different, this is why. 231K loss. Okay. So Jack Kellogg, this is the beast trader signing off. He's just saying, yeah, I'm done. You know, he's still, made, this guy's a beast. I mean, he had like a, he made 170K first, then he lost 330K. So it's not the end of the world. This guy's going to be fine. But, just, just to show you, this is what I'm reading. I'm like, wow, the super experienced guys still got dusted. It's to show you these things only happen because so many people are stacked baby doll baby cakes. Okay, so here I can, I can explain this for you in a nice, neat format. So a sign that the crypto market conditions changing, Bitcoin and Ethereum will benefit. So here I go, right? Top, T-O-P, Chinese scam financial stock pumped 3,800%, 38X in a single day. From $6 to $250, okay? There were no halts allowed. Everyone wrecked. So they did this on purpose. They waited until after the stock market closed, and then they kept, <laughs> kept pumping up telling you, man. What a casino, right? So it was enormous short squeeze. That's what happened. It caused the best stock traders to take a big hit. This short squeeze is just one example. There are others too. This is because most new people trading today they made their money shorting. All they know is down only markets. So just like how the years 2020 and 2021 trained people that markets only go up, 
2022 has also trained people that markets only go down, you know, but most people, when I tell them this, they're in disbelief. They don't believe of this because, because the right thing to do would be to stop all their trading and just go all in spot and then hold for like a 20X in your favorite altcoins or whatever. But they don't want to believe that because they don't believe the cycle is going to repeat again. I'm here telling you it is. So short sellers got stacked on one side with this particular stock. But absolutely all of them pile in. All the short-term traders are, all have a short-term position and all their stops are like, you know, 10% higher. And then that goes, it becomes 20%, 100%, then 500%, then 1,000%. Isn't that crazy, right? So, but... I want to let you know, just because this has happened, it's the first sign, it does not mean we're going to go up only from here, okay? I'm only here to tell you, this is a man, this is just to show you the price action is going to start to change here and there. You get to start to see more of these short squeezes because, you know, the beginning of bull markets, they start with short squeezes. Isn't it funny? We still all use the word short squeeze. You know, nobody was using the words short squeeze in 2020 or 2021. No one. You notice that? They used it in 2019, the start of the bull market. So have you noticed now, if we have a crypto run from here somewhere, people are going to say short squeeze, short squeeze, all the shorts got liquidated. We're going to keep talking about that. That's the start. That's how you know it's a very, very start. Doesn't mean up only. It just means people will be messing with the bull, so they got the horns. This is the unfortunate part next, all right? So people are going to blow their crypto accounts. They're going to keep getting short. They're going to fade in things on leverage. They're going to say, how can this coin possibly go up? They're so trash. It's going to happen. I promise you it's going to happen. I know there are people, for example, they're going to short chain link and get destroyed. Okay, and this is why. This is why. So I have made a mental note in myself. So I made a mental note, baby doll. So what happens is, if we just use this little box here, in strong stocks, any strong asset, let's use Chainlink, for example. Most people will consider, oh, Chainlink seems to be like a blue chip crypto, right? It doesn't just go up and then like down for you to fade because that's too easy. What it does is it goes up like this. It just goes up like this for a long time. A long time. Long time. And then it, it approaches like traditional levels. And you'll notice retailers, I don't know why, I promise you, I don't know why this happens. But for some reason, all the retailers, all the losers, they all think the same way. They're going to look at the same line on the same charts and go, hey, there's a weekly resistance here. This is a great short. You put a short here and I promise you, you're going to start to see it. I promise you, I see it every single year. I'm like, wow, that's crazy how like... Four people, four influencers are all looking at a certain price level and they all have the same position. It's crazy. It just comes and you see it. And then you just see this pop. <laughs> and then they'll start to get short and they'll pop again. So not pop down, pop up. So that's what starts to happen. It doesn't make it obvious for you to get short and do this. The time to short's done. You're supposed to do it last year. You're supposed to do it as everybody's in the fear, capitulation, all that phase, okay? So here I am explaining as well. Stock market traders will probably face more demons as they keep shorting 2023, 2024, of course. This is actually, friends, the most dangerous part because the market front runs the future. So the market will go up as the economy news is bad. And this is what's going to catch people off guard. So this is just a Chinese scam stock. This is Chinese scam from six bucks to two hundred sixty dollars straight line parabola. Okay, that's what it is. So you look at look at this monster line. <laughs> this is one session, friends. Not a year. This is ten a.m. to seven o'clock at night. Bang! <laughs> that's crazy, right? So you've learned something today. So this is what's going to happen. Is it just how markets work? And it, logically, that's how it works. The weakest supply of people willing to sell. They are still here. And the smart money, they're like, yeah, all right, we understand the economy is bad, but we, we already know that, man. We already know that. And I'm here playing for the future. I'm here to play for what if it's not as bad as you think? Or what if it's bad, but you're expecting it to be bad for a year? What if it's only bad for nine months, right? What if they stimulate a bit harder? What if they stimulate a bit earlier? What if these prices are a bit too cheap? 
That's what they start to say. And they start to say in their minds, well, man, I'm looking at all the open interest. I'm looking at all the weak people. And all the weak people, they're still betting on things going down. They're like, hmm, I don't want to be on the same side as them. That's how these people think. They're smart. So that's what you got to understand. That's the people taking the other side here. They're not saying, oh, the economy is going to be bad. I've got to be short. I've got to be outside of the market. They're not saying that. Quite the contrary. They're saying, all right, what do I know? I know the economy is going to go poopy. Okay, I know that. I've known about an unemployment spike coming. I know about this. So until something outside of the system comes and shocks me, I've got nothing to worry about. And that's why you're going to see them stay long. And slowly they're going to soak up the supply and the beginning of the bull markets, friends, this is what happens. This is this is just how it works. The market front runs the future. Okay, front runs the future. You're just going to see it start. So imagine this was just crypto. We're going to start to go up. And the same as stocks. They're going to start to go up as the economy is bad. You're like, how the hell is it going up? That's why the disbelief phase, right? And then it goes up a bit high. And you're like, oh, now I hope we continue. And then we come back down. <laughs> and then we continue again. That's what it's going to be. Hope and disbelief recycling. At least you know what's coming in the future. This, I'll take this, T-O-P. It's the first notch on our belt. We're like, hey, the price action is shifting. Price action is changing. By the way, in 2021, at the very end, beginning of 2022, the S&P started having some big crashes from the top. And many stocks started to fade. There was like one day where the S&P was down big. And many stocks, they gapped up and all of them finished down. I'm not even joking. They were they like gapped up and they all finished down. And it was like the first day there was a noticeable change in the price action. And from that point on, guess what? It was short city for all of 2022, the shorts win. So I'm now telling you, hey, there's a bit too many short squeezes coming in now. Remember, this is how bull market starts, friends. It starts with everybody calling them a short squeeze. It's only until like you're a few years in that people start actually saying the words bull market. You know what else is a bull market? Guy Bill Button or tell mum and dad that you love them. <laughs>